So what do you do when someone screws you over? Um, it sucks, man. Just recently had someone screw me over on a uh, business deal, had a real estate partner. And for whatever reason, they chose to pull out and do some shady stuff. And it sucks, like it's hard, right? So that's what I wanna talk to you guys about is just again, keeping it real on this channel. That's what we've been doing. We've just, yeah, just 100% honest and just talking about life. So many Christians think everything needs to be perfect and all that kind of stuff. And hasn't been my experience. I don't know about yours. That's why, you know, anytime someone tells me that, you know, Christianity or being a Christian is for weak people or sissies. And it's like, seriously, seriously, tough guy. Like, try walking in love. You think this Christianity thing is easy? It's not. But it's a choice, right? It's a choice to forgive people and to walk in love and... You know, my situation was a real estate deal and um, pulled out, telling people lies, right? And I'm not going to get into the details because some of you may know who I'm talking about and it's not the point to embarrass them. It's just to talk about, like, <laughs> just it sucks, man. It sucks. And so I know you guys have been disappointed in different ways and that's why I want to talk about it. And so, like, for me, what I do is I just give it to the Lord. I fought for what we thought was right and did what we thought was right as far as trying to get um, paid on a deal and could not. So we're done fighting. The next step is taking legal action and I personally don't believe in that. I also feel, I know somewhere in the Bible it says that, not to take legal action, but then it also says, um, uh, excuse me, not to take legal action, but then at the end of the day too, like just God saying don't do it. Yeah, legally we could, but yeah, just kind of frustrated, man. So just going out for a walk and just kind of just saying, okay, Lord, what happened? Like, I thought everything was cool. I thought this was you, right? And just sometimes it doesn't work out like that. Everything felt good. And so again, it just goes back to you can't control other people's actions or attitudes. Like, all we can control is our own. And, um, yeah, man, it's tough. It's tough, you know, being in real estate and opportunities that come up and this seemed like a great opportunity seemed like a god thing there was peace but when like i said you're you're dealing with another human <laughs> whether it's a business partner um kids people at church just different things right there's um we can't control people that's what i realized from my divorce is that i can't control anyone except myself can't control my ex-wife can't control my kids like all i can do is choose to give love and that's it. It's just one of those things that, as Christians, like, man, we have to walk the walk. <laughs> it's not always easy. We don't always have the right thoughts. It's not easy. It's easy to do the wrong thing, to retaliate and get back at them and bitter and anger and all that kind of stuff. But you guys just can't let yourself do that, man. I've been there before with my ex-wife and God set me free of all that got set free of all that man all that unforgiveness and bitter and anger and resentment I had towards her and so I choose because now I know it's a conscious choice that all of us can do I choose not to do that I choose not to go back to that place because it's easy man especially in a situation like this where someone hurts you financially um, but you know what like anytime something bad like this happens I always when I'm praying I say okay Lord you knew this was going to happen I did everything right I did the best that I could or at least that I feel to the best of my abilities. And at the end of the day, Lord, I'm just going to give this person up to you. I'm going to give this whole situation up to you. But at the other, the, other, um, the other thing is like, you don't just pull over and cry, right? You just, maybe for a day or two, that's cool, but you, you can't stay in that state. You got to get up and you got to just get back at it. And so just, yeah, just making this video, because like I said, we all go through disappointment, and especially when we feel it's God, and this was a God thing, right? And I do, because it's like I moved forward in real estate, made some great contacts, made some, met, uh, excuse me, made some contacts, met some people that um, are going to definitely help me with real estate and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just one of those things, man. It's a bummer. But just we have to choose to forgive. We have to choose to walk in love. 
and that's what I'm choosing to do. And so anyways, I just wanted to make this video while the emotions are like real and raw right now that I'm feeling them. So that's why I'm out taking a walk <laughs> just to, uh, yeah, just kind of clear my mind and just, so I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna make a video and just talk about this. I'm gonna be starting a YouTube channel and be posting a lot more stuff about God and real estate, and coffee and pizza and yeah, all the things I love, my girls, my daughters, and just keeping it real, man. I think there's too many fake people. Um, you know, the Bible calls them hypocrites, and it's like, we don't have to be that. We can be real. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay to, you know, when those thoughts come in that we shouldn't be thinking, like those aren't our thoughts anyways. We're able to cast them down and just talk to them, right? And so, like, that's powerful once you know that, but we all have bad days. And so I've just learned that if I can contain it to a day or an hour or 10 minutes, it's a whole lot better because then I just keep moving forward. And so it's like anything, right? Live and learn onward and upward. I'm just excited about what God's doing and what he's going to be doing going forward. So, yeah, I'm excited about the future. Company name is Big John Buys Houses. Uh, we help people with real estate buy houses. If you have to sell quickly, we can help you buy, excuse me, sell your house. We'll buy it quickly. And then also, if you know people that want to buy or sell their house, uh, we can help them as well. And also investment stuff. So houses, lands, apartments, all that good stuff. Commercial. But yeah, just wanted to make this video, like I said, while everything that I was feeling was real and raw and just, just kind of needed to vent. So I hadn't really done stuff like this, but I um, just feel like I need to start a YouTube channel. So I guess this will be going on my YouTube channel. Love you guys. Just wanted to talk real. Keep it real. Hope you have a great day.